St. Michael's is situated on the Miles River on a scenic peninsula stretching out into the Chesapeake Bay. Formerly a shipbuilding and oystering town, St. Michael's is known as the town that fooled the British. As the story goes, one night during the War of 1812, as the British approached, the townspeople dimmed the lights near the shore and hung lanterns high in the trees above their houses. This trick led the British cannons to fire over the town, sparing the homes and shipyards. Today, the town of St. Michael's welcomes weekenders to the friendly harbor and downtown. We stopped in for coffee and a light breakfast at Crepes by the Bay on Talbot Street. We turn the corner and head towards the water and muskrat park. The town's history and day-to-day -day life revolve around this harbor. Now lined with pleasure boats, this harbor once saw daily oystering and crabbing activity. Restaurants like the Crab Claw and St. Michael's Crab and Steakhouse attract seafood lovers to pick crabs and indulge in crab cakes and oysters. Several sightseeing boats depart from the harbor to cruise the river and the bay. Today, we're cruising on the Patriot. Since 1969, these cruises have entertained families with the historical narration past large waterfront homes and stunning sailboats. Tickets are available online for $25.50 and in person for $27.50 for regular adult fares. Note the cruise boards passengers in the order in which you purchase your tickets, so buy early to get the first pick at seating. You can sit upstairs in the open air under the canopy or downstairs in the air conditioning. There are restrooms and a snack bar to help make the 65 minute voyage more comfortable. The friendly crew help make the experience enjoyable for everyone. As the ship re-enters the harbor, you can see the Inn at Perry Cabin in the distance, an ultra-luxurious waterside resort. You may recognize this as the site where the wedding reception scene was filmed in the 2005 movie Wedding Crashers. Near the harbor is Talbot Street, which runs through the downtown of St. Michael's. Boutiques and restaurants give character to this small American town. I particularly enjoy browsing through Reclaimed, The Christmas Shop, and Olivin's Olive Oil. We grabbed lunch at Cora's Corner on Talbot Street. The fish and chips were some of the best that I've had outside the UK. The downtown is very walkable. Although most streets lack sidewalks, the compact grid pattern of streets and light traffic allow you to easily wander past historic homes and quaint cottages. There are a number of bed and breakfasts and boutique hotels that offer the perfect romantic weekend escape from the city. We come upon an industrial looking complex at the southern end of town, which is home to the St. Michael's Winery, Eastern Shore Brewing, and Grey Wolf Distilling. I'm trying the dry flight of wine from the St. Michael's Winery. There's an indoor tasting room in addition to outside seating. Next door at Eastern Shore Brewing, I'm trying a sampler of local ales. If you like museums, I'd suggest stopping in the Classic Motor Museum of St. Michael's. This collection of classic cars sits under the roof of an Amish pan-built wooden barn. Classic cars on display in summer 2021 include an antique fire engine and classic Thunderbird. This place is perfect for the car lover in your group. Admission is $10 for a single adult and $15 for two adults. I'd also recommend visiting the Chesapeake Bay Maritime Museum. Located right on the water adjacent to the Patriot Cruise Dock, 
The museum tells the story of the boat building and oystering businesses that once prospered in this region. One of the iconic pieces of the collection is the Hooper Strait Lighthouse, which dates back to 1879. Tickets to the Maritime Museum are $16 for an adult. If you purchase tickets for the Patriot Cruise, you receive $3 off admission to the museum. Also, bring your $20 or more same day receipt from a St. Michael's merchant and receive a $3 discount on your two day general admission ticket. One more tip. We learned from the attendant that the grounds of the museum are open for free after 5 p.m. as a public park. For dinner tonight, we're heading to the Crab Claw. If waterfront dining and crabs sound like heaven, this is the dinner spot for you. I opted for the Chesapeake Bay Blue Crab Cakes, topped with Old Bay seasoning. This dinner couldn't be any more Maryland. The cool breeze and friendly service make this a dinner to remember. To cap off the night, stop by Justine's Ice Cream Parlor on Talbot Street for local made ice cream. This place is popular and there is usually a line out the door. The ice cream makes the wait worth it. <laughs>